Hi, welcome to our Two Minute Tuesday for November 4th of 2014. My name is Roger Balzer of Balzer Wealth Management. Our title for this week is called Putting the Pullback into Perspective. The sudden swoon in stock prices in early October was unsettling, but our investors took it in stride. In hindsight, that was the correct move. The S&P 500's pullback ended falling short of the 10% level that defines a correction. It was the smallest of any of the previous five major pullbacks in small caps, the correction was the largest since the 2011. Volatility in the Russell 2000 also exceeded its long-term average as well. Of course, since the recent bottoms, both indexes have rebounded very well. The Russell 2000 is up 9.5% and the S&P 500 is up 6.6%. This is a reminder to you that upturns can occur as swiftly and as powerfully as downturns and not to become emotionally involved. When the charts change, we change. In general, a higher level of volatility overall with greater swings in small cap equities to normal course of things in today's marketplace. But the corrections and heightened volatility can sometimes signal the start of a change in leadership. Go back to October 7th in our video, have small caps lost their mojo for a little more information on this. We will continue to change when and only when the charts tell us to change. What you're looking at here is a chart of the five largest price declines in the past five years based on the closing values in the S&P 500 and the Russell 2000 index. In 2010, both indexes peaked on April 23rd. The S&P bottomed out on July 2nd and the Russell on July 6th. 2011, both peaked on April 29th and bottomed out on October 3rd. In 2012, there were two pullbacks in excess of 7%. The first, during the first, the Russell 2000 peaked on March 26th and the S&P on April 2nd. The S&P then bottomed out on June 1st and the Russell on June 4th. Second began on September 14th and ended on November 15th for both indexes. During 2014, the S&P fell 7.4% from a September 18th record high to the recent bottom, which happened on October 15th. That decline was below the 10% rule of thumb threshold for what is considered an official correction. As I'd stated before, the Russell fell 13.2% from March 4th, the date of its re most recent closing high, and on October 13th, the date of its most recent bottom. It should be noticed, though, that the Russell rallied back, almost recovering to its record high by July 3rd, before then trending lower again through October 13th. That was a decline of about 13.2%. Either way, this represents the biggest pullback in the Russell 2000 since a 29.6% decline in 2011. Having said all of this, please be aware, I just wanted to put this uh, pullback into perspective for you. We have been recommending that we are in an uptrending market, continue to believe that we are in an uptrending market, and we are using any pullback such as this to add to your positions and continue to take um, positions that we believe will enhance your portfolio going forward in the future. If you have any questions, please let us know. But as I always like to say, when the charts change, we change. That's all for this week. We look forward to seeing you next week. And if you have any questions on any of the securities that you own, be they exchange traded funds, stocks, mutual funds, or anything in your 401k, or you'd just like to give us a call and see how things are going, please give me a call at either of the numbers listed here, 440-934-3114, or myself, 440-610-3012. Until next week, make it a great week.